considering that these kind of materials are um, particular for their property to uh, store and release energy in form of latent heat. So they do so uh, with, with the change of state. So they pass from a uh, solid state to a liquid state and reverse, absorbing and releasing heat. So, uh, so you can imagine, to, to be effective, this, this whole process has to be uh, repeatable every day. So the surrounding condition have to make possible the, the cycle. So they have to, the, the material has to melt or solidify during the hot, uh, to melt during the hotter part of the day and solidify during the coldest part of the, the day. And so the cycle can be repeated again and again every day. I think the most important one is the last one. The, some researcher already uh, proved that 2.5 centimeters of phase change material can uh, equal the thermal mass, so the thermal inertia, of 42 centimeters of concrete. This material can be found in different shapes and um, compounds and could be micro-encapsulated or macro-encapsulated, could be uh, embedded in the, um, in the blending of, uh, or in the mixture of concrete and mortar. Some two important features of every phase change material that has to be considered, the melting point temperature and the heat storage capacity. Melting point temperature is the temperature where when the material undergoes phase change, so it's when the material is active and it's uh, actually working towards uh, an improvement of the indoor comfort. And the heat storage capacity basically means how much this process can last.